Hi Libra and welcome to my channel the Zodiac Love Tarot. I'm Jennifer Winters and this is your Libra February 2020 astrology tarot reading. Now if you don't know much about me I am a six selenium Libra and I'm also an empath and just because you guys are my tribe I have to tell you something and it's you know I haven't told any of the other signs but I went through an extreme personal growth just recently and I know that it has to do with the with what I'm going to talk to you guys about which is about Venus and Chiron um, being in our seventh house and I mean it really threw me for a loop I mean I know tonight is supposed to be the first night that that Chiron goes um, is going into Aries and so isn't so is uh, Venus going into Aries but that's in our seventh house and because I'm in, an empath I tend to feel these energies a lot sooner than other people so I went through this really weird transformation where I had uh, to revisit a lot of my own insecurities I had to um, really um, dive back into a lot of old personal wounds and it shut off my empathic ability for almost two weeks I couldn't really feel anyone else's energies because mine was so strong and it was happening so close to home to me that I was blocked until like really today which is weird because now this is where the energy is it is actually in my seventh house tonight but I honestly felt it earlier I um, am a pharmacist and I had went on a new interview and it uh, was with a company that I had interviewed with before and it turned out that I really thought that this time I was sort of put on parade just to be made fun of and I felt very rejected and I kind of wish I had never even shown up to the interview but then I had to go back and say to myself like you know Jen you're a hard worker and you have put in a lot of uh, emotion into everything you've done and you told the truth during the interview and you remained positive and even like in the past you know people have been able to strip some things away from me and make me feel like I'm not accepted or I'm not part of things so I had that energy coming into you know the month of February so as I wanted to do readings earlier this month I wasn't able to do it until just now because I literally had to take stock of everything um, that was happening to me and just pull the light out of me and pull the light back you know into the universe and bring love back to the universe and I had to realize that you know even though some people were rejecting me in sort in a very cold-hearted way that I still had value and that I'm still you know me and I'm still a good person and a lot of times things can bring you down like that and that's what is happening right now on a you know universal cosmic level is that Venus and Chiron are meeting together and the sign of Aries and what that means for the rest of us is that we're going through a healing process around love and that healing process around love is a healing process for ourselves we have to learn how to love ourselves first and that's you know that Aries energy learn how to love yourself first and the Chiron energy is loving yourself first is going to heal you okay and so now I've come full circle and now I'm here and now I'm I'm here to give you the message that I just went through and that is you know basically you need to love yourself you need to believe in yourself and that is going to create a lot of personal healing for you in the month of February and that is also going to make your relationships a lot better so now what I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna do a tarot reading and what we're gonna find out this time about Libra is we are going to find out about your love what kind of energy is your partner or future partner going to bring you when is it going to happen and what kind of value are they going to bring into your life and I firmly believe that they no one can bring this value into your life until you feel it for yourself so that is the message for the month of February is to feel it for yourself first and then you're going to find this energy 
So this is the person who's going to be in your life, okay? And this is the energy they're going to bring. This is when they're going to bring it, okay? And this is also the value that they are going to bring, okay? So first, let's look at who this person is. Now, I'm in a relationship, and uh, I don't know if you are, but this could be it who you're in the relationship with now, what energy they're bringing. And it could be a new energy because of this new healing that you are going to go through this month. Or it could be just a new person altogether. So let's just find out what this energy is, okay? So, okay, this is the fire energy. And it is the Ten of Wands. So the person that is either in your life now or that you're going to meet, is going to bring passion and fire into your life, especially in the month of February if you're in the relationship, but it will be coming soon for you, Libra. If you're not in a relationship, someone is going to bring fire. And there's also the 10 of wands here. So this person is going to manifest a new life for you. I mean, completely revamp your life and just manifest something extremely awesome. This person has the ability to really turn your life around and make you feel um, like a brand new person. I see this happening. Um, it's also with the salamander here, it means that all of the challenges that you've been feeling in your life, or this is a victory card, it's going to bring you uh, victory. All of these uh, this thing, I feel like there's this ball of, um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. It's like there's, it's it's like a monster almost that you have been trying to defeat for a very long time. And you feel like you haven't been able to do that. And I know that, like, I try not to put my energy into these cards, but being, like, such a strong Libra, I can also relate to that, though, is that, like, life just has sometimes feels like a, a big scary monster and like it's it's like this battle that you're always going through and it causes a lot of fear in your life it causes a lot of insecurities in your life and uh, you know it's also just wondering can I win can I beat this thing can I can I get out of the situation that I'm in and yes you can because this card is telling me especially in the month of February, that something very good is going to change for you. This um, feeling of this monstrous feeling is going to just be uh, extinguished. The fire is coming, but it's a good fire and the old fire is going to be extinguished. The one where you feel like, you know, you have to beat this monster and then there's going to be all these manifestations that are going to happen. And um, this is a very good triumph card okay Libra so the person who's bringing you this energy and also you know I feel like you're having this energy too like it's almost like two people are coming together and creating this wonderful passionate fire for each other and they're coming together and also being able to manifest things together so this is a beautiful wonderful card to have as an energy coming your way like a really strong fire energy okay now, when is this going to happen? I keep saying in February because I feel like I, I kind of already am feeling um, a new way to manifest things. But uh, for you, it could be happening maybe later this month because actually, you know, Chiron and, and Venus are just coming in to your um, your seventh house tonight. Okay. So it may be a little while before you actually start to feel this passion and this in this fire, okay? But we'll see what the cards say. I may be wrong. It may not take that long. Okay, so we have fixed air and we have the queen of swords, okay? So what this is telling me, Libra, is that this can happen as soon as you are ready, okay? As soon as you take back control of yourself, control and power, and sit on your throne and don't let anybody you see how she's just like you know holding um this medallion out and she's got her sword and you know she's also got this uh water bearer here just waiting to um you know shower her with gifts all you have to do is be ready 
and willing to accept this into your life and make the decision for yourself. That's what the Queen of uh, Swords does is this beautiful air energy. She makes up her mind and says, that's it. I don't need to listen to anything else. I can believe in myself. I can do exactly what I want to do. And I can have as much passion in my life, as much um, romance in my life, as much success in my life as I want, and I can have it now. So this card tells me, Libra, that that's the only message that you really need to make this happen is as soon as you make that decision that you need to sit on your throne, it's, it's game on. Like you can do it right now. You don't have to wait. I think this is just tonight, this message, if, you, if, if you're seeing this, it, I mean, I'm going to have to put, I put this up tomorrow because I have to, you know, edit and everything, but this energy is coming in tonight on February the 10th. You should have it very soon. And that's all you need to do is just make up your mind. Okay, Libra? That's what I did. I made up my mind. And now also with this Aquarius energy here, I have my plans. I have what I need to do, move forward. I have a, a lot of um, humanitarian feeling going on. Like, what can I do to now that I have this new power to change the world? And that's what you could do, Libra, too, is just make up your mind to, you know, really stand in your power. And what can you do to affect change? What can you do to plan your future? That's all you need. So now this next card is going to be like, what value does, you know, your romance bring into your life? And seeing like you doing this on your own um, very soon and now, I feel like there's a lot of power there. So what can a person do for you when you already feel like you have what it takes? But there still could be some other message that you need, Libra. It's still something from Chiron left over, something from Venus left over. So let's just find out what's going on. Okay, the Pegasus. All right, so this is the Five of Swords, and you can see the Pegasus that's swooping in. What this is telling me is that you're going to need some help along the way, just like Perseus needed you know, Pegasus to come and swoop in so that he could be, you know, rescued and on his way, you know, to defeating uh, with the the Gargon and all of that stuff. He needed that extra help. And so what I feel like you're going to need, um, Libra, going forward is just that ace in your pocket, that um, that person who you connect with, who's, who's just really willing to to be that go-to person when you need it. And that could be your romantic partner um, who you, you trust and who is bringing you know, this fire energy. It could be that person who you just think um, can really help you uh, financially if you need it, some kind of struggle, somebody to come in and um, where maybe it's like your plans for the future just require um, another person like another business partner or um, it could be somebody like your father or your mother who who um, you know lends you a helping hand in your time of need or a friend but that what this card is telling me is that the value that someone is going to bring and, and I'm thinking you know it could be a lover or someone you do love um, is just this safety net for you something who that you know is going to be there for you when when you fall down or or is going to rescue you just when you need it the most because anytime you go on a new journey anytime you stand in your power you have to have someone there you know who's going to help you when you fall because anytime you take action you're bound to fall a few times before you know before you make it and that's how it that's how it is and for you in this month of February this is the reading that I have for you is to let Chiron in let it heal you let it give you this outstanding power let let it sit you in your throne and let your passion grow your r romance for this person let them manifest in your life Bring the manifestation with you. Extinguish all of these old wounds and burdens. And things are going to really look up for you, okay, Libra? I think this is a, a I think this month is going to be like tear it down and build it back up and build it better than you've ever built it before. 
All right. So thank you, Libras. And if you like this message, it resonated with you, please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you. Um, even if it's just to say, hey, you know, I, I got some value out of that reading. Or if you're stuck in a situation and you don't know how to get out of it, let me know. We can always also, you know, move the conversation over to my email address, askjenniferwinters um, at gmail.com. Or, you know, like the video and subscribe to the channel and definitely share it with another Libra who needs this message. All right. So I'll see you next time. Bye.